announcing the new batch by batch. And I sort of started looking at other bots I would like to see it come this year. It's going to do a video on bots I would like to see it come as five star this year. I started going through the list. When I started going through the list, I was like, that's a small list. It's not a big list. And so I thought, I'm going to count up how many five stars are not in the game, but they have as four stars. How many four stars are going to make as five stars? And I've got it as 31 bots. There's 31 bots that are not five stars in the game, but are four stars. And that's sort of got me thinking that if they did... Now, they cannot do two endurance bots for every single batch from now on forever. So I could probably do two. For the next two or three this year, maybe even. Um, and they said they're probably gonna do four batches this year. So let's let's just say that the next three batches are gonna have two one two or two one two, say so two one two one. So another four endurance bots. So this year, outside of endurance bots, we're gonna have four bots and an endurance bot, three bots, two endurance bots, four bots, and endurance bot. Probably. I think just to catch up, maybe. Um, I think that's the maximum they'll probably do. Maybe one each after the two. But I think they'll go with that really because it's been a year now since most of these bots have been in. So we're looking at for the rest of this year alone, we're looking at four, eight, eleven, eleven five stars. So this year we'll get the endurance bots and another eleven five star. Now obviously I've taken Huffer and Drift out of that because we know they're getting rework. So after the batches from this year, so by this December. We'll have 24 star bots that are not five stars. And again, that's not a lot of bots. We're currently always doing these um, reworks of old five stars, the legacy batches, what Dale calls them. Um, and I presume we, we've got to keep doing those, maybe two, three, four a year. So the question I've got to ask is by Christmas of 2025, Will we have any more bots left for five-star batches? What happens then? What do we spend our shards on? The whole economy is based around us chasing five-stars. You've got the endurance events where you play towards getting a five-star. You've got the um, reworks of old bot legacy batches, which is working towards getting a five-star. In the endurance events, you get five-star shards. You get five-star bots. I'm worried that if we keep getting these five stars and we keep getting these batches, are we going to run out of bots? Are we just going to have endurance events and no more five star batches? And I don't think they've actually thought of it yet. I don't think they've thought, oh, what happens when we run out of bots? I think they're sort of a bit oblivious to it going, oh, there's loads of bots left. There's bots left. And yeah, okay, four or five years ago, there was loads of bots left. They weren't worried about it. But now with the endurance, with the legacies, are we pumping out five star bots too quickly, too many batches in a year, to the point we're gonna run out of bots? It's an interesting question, it's interesting. Um I'm not even too sure where they're gonna go with that. Personally, should they slow down the batches? Maybe three a year is probably enough. But do they need some other use for five star shards? Ranks is not the answer. Before anyone says ranks, ranks is not the answer. Ranks are just something for top players to chase that have all the bots in the batches already and nothing else to do with their five star shards. That's what the batches the that's what the ranks are there for. So we need another use of five star shards. With 31 bots left, and a lot of these being pretty woeful, I'm honest with you. Um it's gonna be intriguing to see where they go with this come next year when the numbers are dwindling. 